勝条約を結んだはいいが。ユーラゼンヤウゲツウォーミリムハクロノーノーノーノー Yo, it's your boy Roberto, but you can call me Betty, and welcome to another Tensura reaction. Today, we've actually got three episodes for you guys. We're doing episode、uh, four, five, and six, which I think is actually 28, 29, and 30 of Tensura. Obviously, we're on season two. I don't actually remember much of what happened last one. I know, obviously, we came to the conclusion of the Animal Kingdom coming up, having a bit of beef, Shion and Yom, obviously, showing off, showing off what they can do. Pretty, pretty dope.、And、so, yeah, in that case, I don't want to waste any more time. If you are a returning subscriber, make sure to hit that like button. New viewers, I needed to burp there for a second. That's why I had to like pause. But I'm good. I'm good. New viewers, join the bay. Go and hit that subscribe button because we do want you here. And most importantly, for those who've been showing a lot of love, thank you as always. This, of course, is your boy Benny. And yeah, let's get into this tensora reaction. <laughs> the kids love to see him. <laughs> They passed. Yeah, he's joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got that. Yeah, yeah, sure, Alice. Tis Sensei. Aww. Kenya. Gail. <laughs> Oh, exactly, man. Yeah, what's the promise? Oh, <laughs> he's, still, he's still manipulating them with mangas. Parasite? Did I actually just say parasite? Am I going crazy? Or did I actually just say parasite? And also, I have watched,、uh, uh, I think, like half of season one. Um, of Parasite, but I haven't seen the whole of it. Yeah, they did say Parasite. How interesting. That's so funny. <laughs> Rimuru with his hair tied. He's got his girl form right now. He looks more like a girl here. Oh, yeah, she was the magician or the, or the mage. But she seemed like she was on. Like. She seemed like an op, basically. Ah, wait, okay, we can't react to this yet.、Um, we'll wait a few, few episodes before we do. Obviously, Rimuru, you, you, you'll know when we can, so I'll leave that down to you. A wizard. Yeah, I don't trust her. She's an op. Yeah, Clayman, yeah, I thought so. Military advisor. Too much of a high position, I'd, I'd say. Also, what does Clayman want? What do you want, man? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Legit. I mean, I, I, even Lords, leave me alone if I was remote. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what her reaction will be. Damn, Shio. <laughs> They're too trusting to begin with, though. Damn right, so don't try any funny business. Oh, it's such a happy little place. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love it. Everyone's got their own responsibilities, their own jobs, you know, the nation's making money. I just, I love it. I love to see it. A clear threat. See, she's a spy. Oh. Yum, part of me is a bit upset and disappointed that you've just literally like accepted her in so easy. But I get it, she she kind of saved you guys last week, right? So, I get it. But yeah, you are truly gullible. Is she gonna fall for him or something like that? Damn, it's tough, man. Damn. So she's a margin. Did we know that? I feel like we didn't. <laughs> we see this scene so many times. How could I just destroy them all? A most skilled member. It's so crazy. Let's read this. So, anyone with spirits are higher than A rank is a margin, like Shizue or some monsters in Tempest, Rimuru, etc., etc. Right, so even all of Rimuru's students, they're all basically a margin. They're, they're all basically margins? That's crazy. But I guess that makes sense. But that also mean that they're automatically, like, bigger than A rank already? Or do they need a bit of training still? Like, I'm, I'm guessing they're classed below A ranks. They will become margin as they go strong. Oh, that's exciting. Hopefully we will see that. Because again, I have my time travel theory with Chloe. So, you know, hopefully we'll see her grow old. And then, you know. Wow. She's actually beast. She's a margin, so... Damn. <laughs> wow, but you're from the animal kingdom. How does that work? Damn. Unyielding rule of yours. Could you could he kill Yon though? I don't think so. They're probably at the same level. What's he doing? That's funny. So what they're gonna try and learn magic off her? She, so she's working as a spy, but Grucius is also a margin guy. Oh, interesting. <laughs> God. Jeez, Hakuro is such a beast. Gopta did well for like dodging though. Oh, so she's also fighting as well. Shadow movement? Ooh, even the sound effect! <laughs> Flash death. Damn, new man got worked. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's not lying, that's what happened. But she's still a snake. Wow. Why is he taking his uh, female form for this episode? I'm interested. Not, not as in, wait, let me pause. Not interested in female Rimuru. I'm interested in why he took the female form. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, keep keep feeling like that. <laughs> she would definitely be able to beat her. She's 
She's a snake. Don't trust her. <laughs> Should they be reading Parasite? Aren't they too young to read that? Okay. I just realised that, yeah, when he met this guy, he was dressed like a female, yeah. Because he saved this guy from the dragon. The sky dragon. Damn, I'm getting a bit cold. I might put this on. How do I look? I'm <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's really cold here, that's why I'm wearing my beanie. I'd love to see that, you know, like Tempest actually get invaded. Mm. Falmouth. So, okay, this is some foreshadowing for some beef then, yeah. Mmm, yeah. Mmm. So it must be like a resources thing, and then obviously, yeah, like they said, if uh, Tempest becomes the center of trade, then boy. Gee, so this is the king of family for right now, and his uh, administration, I guess you'd call him? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is it. The setup of the beef. Mm. Wow, yeah. No, wow, yeah, as in like I'm agreeing to what they're saying, but wow, yeah, as in like this really is going to be the start of the beef. The time to strike is now, yeah. Yeah, I wonder how... That's quite a lot. But I wonder how many people Rimuru actually has now in terms of numbers. Subjugate the nation of monsters. Opposition to. Okay. That's crazy. Wow. Citizens from our nation. The Temple Knights. Hmm. A holy war. Other worlders. Jeez, this is getting, this is getting interesting. Okay. So they're gonna send other worlders to Rampage, and then hopefully get... Secret art? He did say he was the Archbishop, so has he got some abilities or something? Oh damn, this is about to get, this is about to get crazy. Yeah. I want to meet more slimes then. 100 nights. You know what, what's interesting is that like, normally when we do see people like approach Jura, everyone from the nation is always on smoke. Like the Kijin are oh, the first to get up and like go straight for battle. Rengar, Shion, you know, they tend to go first and then next you see Benny Maru come in. Like they are always straight on smoke. There's no questions asked, no conversations had. So if they advance with 100 knights, you know, already looking aggressive, then boy, that's just gonna start beef straight away, which yeah, I mean, that means that will work to their favor. So, interesting. Yeah, because uh, I mean, I'd, I'm definitely here to see this holy war. I'd love to see something like that by play out, but interesting. 
So these guys are the other welders. And and seen as they're alive, I'm assuming they also have spirits within them. That's a good point. Rimuru did forbid them. Yeah. But he didn't forbid them to hurt them if and it you know, self defense. <laughs> Alright. What do you need a TV for? I just keep going on adventures, man. Like I just be traveling, being like, okay, I wanna meet all the monsters, like I'll treat it like Pokemon, man. Get out of po Pokedex, start taking notes of every single one, like other species. You know what I mean? Like, become an adventurer. Hunt for your food type level living. <laughs> She's reading so, like, I must do this. <laughs> Wow, interesting. Milim! What's going on? What is it? Whoa, what's going on, Milim? What the hell? Is Milim good? <laughs> Alright, let's get into the next one. As we want to do another two, I don't want to waste a lot of time with these. So let's get right into episode 29, titled The Prelude to the Disaster, which obviously means episode 30 or episode 6. Um, God, I need to find a definitive one. I need to work out how we're going to go up actually in posting these. Are we going to do, you know, 24, 25, 26, 27? We might just do that. Maybe maybe we will. Or maybe I'll just do it season two. I don't know. But anyways, episode twenty-nine titled The Prelude to the Disaster. Let's get it. Yom is falling in love with this chick, isn't he? That's Yom right there, yeah. He's gonna fall for her hard, she's gonna fall for him, but she's gonna be a spy, so it's like what the hell? What happens if a you a human gets together with a margin? Wow. Yeah, see, she's feeling him. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she's feeling some type of way. Your heart is under his control. Yeah, she's starting to feel bad. I knew this would happen though. As soon as she called him an idiot the first time, I was like, oh, I'm shipping then say. What does Clayman want, though? What does he actually want? Oi, oi. Baka yoros. Don mo arigato. Spoilers, okay, fair. <laughs> don't tell me that, don't tell me that. <laughs> I don't want to explain this. <laughs> Grucius. She's like, I want to see Bay. Where he at? Future baby daddy. <laughs> oh, she's down bad. Oh, Clayman. Oh, here we go. Neither was I. So she's already sending in for. Oh, so she, he actually has her heart. Imagine if he's like kill Rimuru. Man, I love. I know. You, I know you don't want to die, nor do you want to see the man you love die. Damn, he knows. He knows exactly how she's feeling right now. I'm guessing it's because he has her heart. Damn, okay, so we need to take out Clayman. Clayman actually needs to get taken out. Because I'm, I'm starting to like really feel bad for this chick. And the only way to save her would be literally to get the heart back. 
And obviously we'd have to go against Clayman to do that. I think this is a trap. Damn. Damn! Now she's admitting it to herself how much she likes him. Sell my soul. Damn! Okay. Sorry. I think. I felt, I felt like a fly went up my nose. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I for a second thought I had a fly go up my nose and I just had to quickly try and sort that, but no, I'm good. I panicked because I've had a massive scare when I was younger. And I'll tell you the story. When I was... Okay, story time. Story time. When I was six years old, I think, I was back in primary school. I had a moment where I was playing out in the playground and stuff and it was just after school, I think. And I was waiting for like the bus to come pick me up, like the school bus. And as I was walking down the stairs, I got like a wasp attack me, right? But, I kid you not, the way it attacked, like literally, was it going right into my right nostril? Like legit, right into it. And like, you know, burying itself in. I obviously panicked. I remember, like, I'm six years old at this point, right? So I pass out, like, I was just, that was it, I literally passed out, I don't remember anything else, I think I was on the stairs still, so like, someone caught me before I could roll all the way down, like, sort of stuff, and, um, I eventually woke up to, like, you know, kids surrounding me, my parents being there, and everything else, but, crazy, crazy, so ever since then, obviously, I've had a bit of an insect, like, insectophobia, and I just kind of try and avoid it, because it is scary, <laughs> But I'm no, like if it's in my room and if it's and like you know if this fly is flying around whatever like you know that happens sometimes, then I just have to kind of try and ignore it. But after a while they'll start to get to me. So you've probably noticed it in a few videos and stuff already. But but <laughs> I just wanted to give you the context as to why. Okay, I'm not I'm not a, not a wuss. It's just there, there's a reason. Okay. <laughs> but um but yeah sorry. And then Lamal, I had seen the same kind of incident with one of my friends too, but he was 13 and 14. No, I didn't get no major in major injuries. I just passed the hell out, man. Like literally, like it happened once. Passed the hell out. Didn't get no concussion. And luckily, like I, I landed okay. I think the person caught me as I was falling, and it just it just became a bit of a traumatic memory. So I hate wasps. I hate bees. I stay away from that. If there's a wasp like buzzing around me, I am the kind of person that will be like, you know, like moving away, being like trying to and trying to stand up and be like, okay, like I don't want to smoke. Like that's that's me right there. That's how I'd be. So so I'm good. I'm good. Just a bit of PTSD and that's it. <laughs> Oh, here we go, yeah. So Falmouth has arrived. Yeah. And Rimuru not arrived yet. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's what I think, contact him now. Oh. Yeah, Alvis. Oh, damn. You are saying you will go to war? Milim? Wait, what? Damn, wait, you telling me, wait a second, wait. You telling me there's about to be two different wars happening at the same time, roughly. And obviously, Rumor is not even back yet. I didn't even think about that. Rumor is not even back, and those guys are like soon approaching. But on top of that, the Animal Kingdom, Eurasania, are going off against Millen? And she's OP! Isn't she like the strongest demon lord? What? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you won't lie. You won't lie. I see why you also recommended to watch the next one. Damn. Damn. That's crazy. And these guys are already here.
Damn, they've already infiltrated. So now if they stop beef, people might actually get hurt. You won't be able to kill him. I mean, I don't know. They must be strong, but three on one could be a challenge. But I think it'll be. I'll be alright. Damn. I mean, they don't seem like they're loyal, to, like to the Farm of Kingdom. So maybe they'll join our gang. After meeting Rimuru or something. Because they've got a lot of personality. And I think the personality is very different from the... You know, the personalities we already have in the Jura Kingdom, so... Oh, no. Oh, my God. No. No, I don't... Oh, no. That's maybe not like her. I don't like... Nah. I don't like that. Oh my god, I hate that. Damn! Unique skill? No way! Damn! Damn! Hey, no, there's people need to arrive there quick. We need Soy or something, but I know they're busy with like, with like the attack as well. Damn! This is actually quite a good, like, tactic, like a good strategy. Gobta, yes. Gosbo, that's his name. Okay. Wow, that's facts actually. Damn, Gopta is wise, man. Wow. <laughs> Let's go. Facts though, why wouldn't you believe you're in front? <laughs> Damn, hey, I love Gofta. You just got up to my second favorite, <laughs> just from that. <laughs> <laughs> Just baited him out. <laughs> I mean, he saved. He saved him. That was so good. Whoa. Bewilder. Unique skill. The skill didn't work. Wow! She tried to one-shot kill him! Jeez! Oh, this is getting me gassed! I'm so glad they've arrived! Yeah, Shuna is basically a... like a spellcaster or something, right? And she's skilled at it too. That's crazy though. That she can do that, yeah. She's a Kijin. What? They want to fight? Damn! Okay, yeah, we don't want this guy to join. 
Damn, that's so crazy. Yeah, because now it's different. Now they're defending themselves, you know what I mean? Because these guys have come in and it's been obvious. Yeah, everyone's running now. We've got evidence, witnesses. Your reports won't work. Let's go, Shion. Here's my third fave. Top three. So Gopta's gonna fight as well. And Gopta's been training. So Gopta must be quite a high ranking character as well, right? Because he can do movements like shadow step and all of that sort of stuff. And obviously he's been training with Hakuro for like a long while now, right? I'm guessing like around two years at this point. All seen eye. Hinata? Wait, he knows Hinata? Into an anti-magic area? Oh my god, so they won't be able to contact Rimuru! Oh my god, no! No, 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 no. If they cut off the communications... Yum. Oh, no. It's gracious. Man, this is literally getting so heated. Oh yeah, this guy's trying to put in the moves. <laughs> Oh. oh no, he's found her out. But why is Milim declared war though? It's because the country is about to get attacked by Felmuth and Rimuru is out. Yeah. Exactly. Damn. Don't. Oh, right, yeah, carry on would be there. She's getting clocked. Oh, Milim already attacked Farmuth. But now she's attacking. So, wait, she's just attacking different kingdoms? Oh, he got friends already. Wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. This is happening too quick, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is funny. No, don't. Damn. Yo, her form is dope. Her form is dope. Her form is actually so dope. Yum。We need Rimuru back. I can't wait. Okay, listen. Okay, right. We need Rimuru back, like so badly right now. We've got two wars breaking out. We've got Demon Lord Milim involved, the Clayman involved right now. We need Rimuru. Where are you at? Like, why are they not communicating with him yet? Oh my god. This is all escalating. Damn. Isn't it been like a week? <laughs> Maybe less. <laughs> He's trying to tell her all the truth now. I mean, she's trying to tell him all the truth. 
Damn. I knew this would happen, but like, seeing it, I'll fall for your deceit until the day. Like, damn, young. Damn, that's deep, you know. <laughs> They're still fighting over. <laughs> Can't you tell, man, that she ain't into you like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad Grucius didn't die though. F in the chat for his. Uh... Don't do it. She's still gonna do it. Damn, I'm liking the music and everything. Jeez, this is so dark. Oh my god. Oh, this looks so, so cool. But damn, if communications is cut with Rimuru, he legit won't know what's going down. And if they get into a battle, we're just gonna have to trust everyone else. But boy, I don't know if they'll actually be able to do it. Oh man, this is gonna get so heated. Prison field? Is this a secret art? <gasps> They can't get out either. Jeez, come on, Shield. What's happened? What? It's the prison field. No, no, don't tell me everyone's gonna start losing their strength or something. Oh my, okay, yeah, of course we're watching the next one. I now get why, I now get why, I now get why you mentioned the three. I did say at the start of this, you know, stream that I was like, you know, me, we'll get to a point where we'll be watching two and then I'll be like, oh, you know, so. Oh, <laughs> that's such a number. <laughs> Wait a second. This was the end of episode 23. Wait. Yeah, this is literally just after. Wait a second. So. Oh. So. Everything, everything we've watched up until this episode in season two happened between episodes 19 and 23? Yeah, so, 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 yeah, so episodes 22 and 23, technically, have just happened just happened he's just put the spirits in them you know kept his promise given them this and now he's returning with Renga and he, we're about to potentially meet Hinata because Hinata literally saw him as they were making their way back and maybe now I'm thinking actually perhaps Hinata is going is approaching Rimuru because she knows of the impending doom to Jura. I know you can't give me some of those answers there, but I think yeah, now it's now it's making sense. I understand like it's in why do they do that with a timeline? Why do they do that? 
Well, I'm glad we okay. I'm glad we did it in the way that we did. Cheers, Maria. Cheers, because that would have racked my brain, man. It would have hurt. Rimuru, hurry up though. Hurry up though. If it's still standing... I'm actually bare worried, you know. Because if all the monsters are getting affected by that barrier... <sighs> what humans have we got besides Yom? Do you know what I mean? Yom and his squad. But like everyone else is pretty much goblins and Kijin and, you know, orcs and... Reptilian, like we just, yeah. In fact, even if Rimuru was in that barrier himself, he'd also be affected by it, in theory. Foreshadowing! I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And then she'll go back in time with her spirit ability and give the mask back to Shizu. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Hinata, alright. This is where we left off. Episode 23. Facts! That's quick and easy. Alright, quick, hurry up. They're not, they're not gonna get there in this episode, are they? They're not gonna get there in this episode. Ugh. I'm so worried for them. But I do want to see the skills of Hinata, so let's see. Jeez, that looked dope. Wide range barrier. Damn. So he made it. Yo, I'm so worried for everyone. If you say so. Chill, Siri, not right now. <laughs> Damn, so this must... Another? For real? Nice. Limited. This is... So is this, is this the Falmyth guys or is this Hinata? I still can't work it out because it, from so appearing it made it seem like it was the Falmyth warriors. Oh it is Hinata. Holy Knights. Right. Oh these are the guys... Wait, 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 wait. So, wait, wait, wait. So, is she one of the guys that was sent by the church? So, is Hinata working for the church? The ones that, like, made Jura Tempest enemies? And that's what the Holy Mark is, because it's a holy war. Interesting. I mean, interesting that it would be Hinata as well out of everyone, but... Interesting. Yeah, it looks like it. Works for the church, but not under family, right? Yes, they have. Oh, Rimuru, please get out now, man. You know, now you know the situation. Oh, I'm so worried. I'm actually, like, worried as hell, you know. Because surely they all should be feeling weakened right now. Oh, Gobta. Oh, no. Where's Benny Mara and Hocker and stuff? Yes, uh, my dude. But he's also going to be feeling weaker as well. And confident, you know. Finish him off, man. This guy's getting on my nerves. <laughs> Oof. This guy is decent though, the guy who's fighting against Hakuro. 
Where's your full potions? Mm. Oh, I really hope that Hokuro don't get hurt, man. Hakuro, no! 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 Dang Gosboy, right? Gobza? No way. Wait a second. No way. No way. Oh man, I can tell this 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 arc is gonna get hit me in my feels man, like legit. If any of them actually got like marks, like if they're actually dead, I'll actually be I'll be so upset. And not Shion as well. Oh my god no. Oh this is so mad. Where's Gabiru? Yeah, where's Gabiru? And Soka and like Benny Moro needs to get involved, and Riga, and like, where are our guys? We still need to find Yon. We're missing a few people. Damn, Shion, I feel for- I really hope that she don't get hurt, man. <laughs> oh, she's marking this guy for now. Oh, they've come in. No, it gets worse. <gasps> no, she on. Oh my god, there is blood everywhere! Oh yeah, I'm actually getting better upset, you know? Damn, man. Like, that hit me, like, so badly. I can't even, I can't even lie to you. That, that was actually so emotional. Hinata, that was who was trained by Shizu, man. I can't even, like, I'm struggling to focus right now. <laughs> My God. That was so crazy. Like, she's strong as hell. That's not true. Can't he tell that he looks like Shizu? Yeah, man, she's crazy. Oh, yeah. like, I'm, I'm hyped to see this, yeah? Listen, I'm hyped to see this. But part of me is like, come on, just let him go. Let him go back to the flipping nation. Like, everyone's getting murdered. Literally murdered right now. Like, it's, oh, I can't. Like, that's what I mean. I'm struggling to, I know this is a beast fight and like a big moment, but. Like, Gobta, Shion, like, oh my God. Like, I can't even.
Let's see, Rimuru. Her sword is definitely like a like a special sword in some way. Oh, Rimuru, you're getting worked right now. Wow, she's beast. My God. The spiritual body of the top. Wow. Three more. Yeah. To avenge Shizu, but you're fighting Shizu right now. Oh my God, Rimuru. What she wanted. It's what she wanted. She asked for it. Yeah, so someone's manipulating this whole situation. Yeah. Remember, if you get cut once, man, oh my god, this is so tense. She's so OP. This is the first time I've ever been worried for Rimuru. Like, legit being like, damn, my dude, you, you're no match. You got hit! No? Oh, I thought he did get hit. We must have deflected it. On the seventh, wow. She literally is it, man. Oh, yeah. Jeez. So he summoned Ifrit, I love that. And Ifrit, I guess, can use all of his abilities right now. Jeez. Oh, she's dope. Don't let her kill Ifrit. Oh my god. It's the barrier. Okay, at least he returned back. Usurpation. Damn. She's a beast, legit. Usurper. Ah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Jeez, okay. Is he gonna try and absorb her or just try and absorb the barrier? Because if he can absorb the barrier, then he's out of that and he can use his full strength. Please don't end here. Oh my god, they're gonna end here. <laughs> Whoa. What the hell happened? He got stabbed. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm so heated. I am so heated. I am so heated. I am so heated. Oh my god. I can't. I can't even. I can't even watch another one. No. Oh, that is so annoying. That was so dope. Damn. Oh. Oh. Seriously. Man, I don't even actually know what to say, man. Like Like literally episode 5 had me bare mush. And even the start of this one. Shion, Gupta, all of them guys getting worked like that, like, seeing the blood everywhere, the nation destroyed. And Rumor is still fighting, so it's gonna be ages before he can go back. And, like, people can't get revived from full potions. If they die, they die. And that's my worry the characters that we've grown to love throughout season one just getting snuffed out like that. Like, damn. I really wasn't expecting these turn of events. That's so, so crazy. Let's, let's get to the review portion and dissect, man. My god. First, like, first and foremost, Mjorn? Mjorn? That's her name, right? The one that was working for Clayman and Margin, who came in, pretended to be a wizard, mage, however you want to classify her. Man, like the love story there, like I, you could kind of, you could already see that they were building the foundation. Mulan, Mulan. Um, it's almost like Mjolnir, but Mulan. They kind of wrote it in like a similar way. You could see that they were placing the foundations for something to develop between the two characters, right? Yorm and Mulan. And it did, like, relatively quickly actually, but they were spending a lot of time together and like, it's crazy to see like how much she was really, really digging Yon, and obviously he was digging her. And I loved, you know, the little, I guess, I guess the little friend zone moment, right, that happened with, um, I forget my dude's name, the guy from the Animal Kingdom, um, who also like idealized Carrion. But Clayman's a snake. I'm wondering what he's planning there. Like, why he cut off the communications with Rumoru? Not that it really made a difference, anyways, because. I mean, maybe he would have been able to arrive earlier, but Hidata was already on his neck. Like, she was literally already there. And then obviously we also got to talk about Demon Lord Milim, and what she's even like, what is going on with her at the moment? Like, her attack, like, attacking Ingracia, why? Like, why are you doing that? And also, you're going against Carrion, basically, right? And then we've got Farmuth, and I'm quite surprised, actually, Farmuth were as capable as they've shown themselves to be, because initially I was thinking, ah, oh, like, Rumoru could take them, you know, who's going to be in the nation? They'll be going against Kijins and everything else, but it'll be dope to see them go all out. I was not expecting the nation, the Kijin, you know, Gupta, all to get taken out like that. Just, I honestly, I, I had tears in my eyes. I don't know if you saw the reaction, but I legit, I had tears in my eyes because I was just like I, I was so sad over what, what was going on. Like again, like with this is these are characters that we've grown to love. You know, the thing that really got me gassed about this show is the fact that they were just building a nation so quickly and so well, and everyone was happy. And like even in the start of episode um, five, it was still all happy and stuff, right? It's yeah, it's just a bit upsetting seeing the fall, which I know it has been foreshadowed and everything. And obviously, Hinata versus Rumoru. I mean, look, there was so much that went down, right? That's why we. Did another third episode but Hinata versus Rimuru like she is OP like a lot stronger than I thought she would be Rimuru using gluttony in a way that he did is very interesting so I'm, ex I'm definitely excited to watch the next one of course let me know what you guys thought so definitely drop those thoughts down in the comment section if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button new viewers join the better gang hit that sub 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 <laughs> hit the subscribe button and most importantly for those who've been showing a lot of love thank you as always this of course is your boy Benny and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.
some scraps and now I'm running my own company Every day is Sunday cause my every day is sucker free Astronomic with economics, I'm whipping chemistry I can't spit any bonnets, buffing up the industry Throw your fun and saw that I will come up and I'll kill this shit Money on my brain, they run around like it got membership Popping on some pennies, trying to